Continental FC has been beaten at home by the College University of Boya one goal to zero. This was during a match that took place on Wednesday the 20th of March 2019. The boys of the City of St. and Scholars, after losing one goal to zero with Mount Cameroon Football Club, decided to bounce back to Continental FC. During the first half, the boys of the City of St. and Scholars wasted a lot of opportunities to take dominance over their home rival, Continental FC Football Club. The football tactics of the Continental FC made it difficult for the players of City of St. and Scholars to score a goal. 45 minutes of play, CUIB 0 and Continental FC 0. The over 500 spectators were readily disappointed at both teams as they remained goalless during the first half of the game. As tactical and professional coach Enobi Brandon is, he took his boys into the dressing room and reignited the flame of victory. And sure you win was the message of coach Enobi Brandon to his players as they prepared to face their home rival for the second half. So if it is time to go, you go. If you are already taking off, don't go again and stand. Ten minutes to two, the central referee sounded his whistle for the second half to begin. At this moment, the sound of the drum changes as Edna Dennis of the Catholic University Institute of Boya put the ball at the back of the net, making Catholic University Institute of Boya Football Club 1 and Continental FC 0. 10 minutes to the start of the second half. As the Catholic University Institute of Boya fullback defender was ordered medical attention, Coach Enobi Brandon had to re-strategize with his team player to balance the gap. The match finally ended with Cali University Institute of Boya 1 and Continental FC 0. But how satisfied is Coach Enobi Brandon of the Cali University Institute of Boya? I'm so grateful and so much impressed after losing 1-0 before my Cameroon football club. Uh, we have uh, we have put some certain things in place trying to make sure we cover some of the gap that we saw in the match and uh, by the grace of God we have some, some of the players who are back and so we are trying to see how we can make uh, we, can, we can we can bring forth a combination to make sure that they familiarize with the team. Players like Robert Morango and Ako Ako Tanjong they are back in the squad and I believe that with their experiences and the effort that they are going to bring to get out their contribution for that we are going to improve more this and that is. I'm actually happy. I'm happy because my preparation this season regarding the, the current situation was not the best. But by the grace of God, I am seeing how they are making, they are improving day after day and match after match. With 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 with, with a new system put in place, with a new tactics and a new strategy put in place, and the guys are making effort as to meet up. I'm so much impressed with the performance of my players. As it stands now. Cali University Institute of Boya is at the second position of the group as far as the Southwest Regional League Division 2 is concerned. Let our grace be abiding us now and forevermore and to enter our place for our next opponent, let us be victorious. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are prayed. Amen. Amen.